Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. It's about that time for the Call of Duty Cope train to start rolling down those tracks. And I can't lie, this is one of my favorite times of the year because it's just so routine and predictable. A new Call of Duty gets announced, they tease some things, maybe there's a trailer, and then, like clockwork, the tweets start rolling in. Various content creators, paid or not, start tweeting, We're so back. Warzone players, this is our year. Multiplayer guys, oh, we're so back. And shockingly, some people actually fall for it. Or maybe it isn't shockingly, because I say this with my chest, all right? The Call of Duty player base is potentially the most brain rotted player base on the planet. A lot of the Call of Duty player base will simply buy and play whatever Call of Duty releases without a second thought. And this time around, this Call of Duty is shaping up to be real interesting, at least from an outside perspective, because that's sort of what I am, right? I'm a content creator, I do cover all of these FPS games, and again, around this time of year, people start commenting, Enders are going to play the new COD, Enders, what do you think about this? Enders, are you going to play Black Ops 6? And of course I have to play it, because then people never stop asking me. So okay, I get my free code, because I will never pay for a Call of Duty game ever in my life if I can help it. I get my little free code, I download it, and then I make my two videos about Call of Duty a year, and then I wait until the next COD. That's basically been my cycle. And the point of this video is to basically discuss the situation Call of Duty is in, the discussions surrounding it, and the tendencies that I've observed over the past few years that are just beyond brain rot. So let's jump into things. If you enjoy the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Also, check out my new Medified group, first link in the description. It's like a Patreon, but you get a lot of benefits for subscribing to it. You can also just join for free. Definitely check it out, first link in the description. So I already mentioned this weird dynamic surrounding Call of Duty, where it, they just seem to have people on a leash. They really do. It is a consistent cycle of new Call of Duty releases, the cope starts, the game releases, it's the same game, people say it's the same game, Call of Duty then dies down a little bit, and then the cycle repeats. And need I remind you that all of these Call of Duty stretching back to Modern Warfare 2019, really ever since the first Warzone took off, they've all been, I'd say, 85% similar, maybe 90% similar, with the exact same core issues that go completely unaddressed, and yet they continue to make money hand over fist. I haven't even played Black Ops 6 yet, and I can already guarantee you that the game is going to play the exact same as Modern Warfare 3 did, and then all the other previous Call of Duty games, because again, they have the same core problems. They have not addressed overpowered controller aim assist. They have not addressed skill-based matchmaking. They haven't even spoken or confirmed the existence of EOMM, which is engagement-optimized matchmaking. If you don't know what that is, do a quick Google search, because then you'll get down a whole other rabbit hole, and maybe it'll clear up some things. Maybe it'll make sense to you why your Call of Duty experience has been so bad over the past few games. But let's talk about these content creators. This is coming from a perspective of someone that I consider myself to be on the outskirts of Call of Duty. I am a spectator. I make videos once a year about COD, really, and that's really it. But I do see what happens around the COD space a lot on Twitter and on YouTube, and I can't help but notice a lot of these same creators, PC or console alike, just tweet the same things around this time of year. They all tweet, we're so back, Warzone players, we're so back, oh, the movement is back, oh, this COD has a skill gap, the, you know, you name it, they tweet it, but they're not paid, or at least they're not disclosing it. Now, I'm not saying, oh, they're getting under the table money from COD, but it's really weird. Are these are they just engagement farming? Is this, a, is this some sort of joke that I don't understand, or is the cope really this strong? Do these people sincerely believe that Call of Duty is back every single year? Is that seriously what I'm supposed to believe? And on another note, the community of Call of Duty is so confusing to me as a whole. This, these are just the most toxic, annoying, immature, weird people I've ever met on the internet. I had an interaction with a quote-unquote Call of Duty sniper player on Twitter, and he said that he would prove to me that he can aggressive snipe in Delta Force because I said sniping is bad, and guess what? 
He never replied to me with a video of him aggressive sniping in Delta Force, but he had a massive ego about it. So is this just like a mental health crisis that I'm not aware of? Because because that is just one example of a literal species of Call of Duty player that exists. The toxic, overinflated ego like sniper player. And then you have these other super toxic, overinflated ego like wager players that play pub lobbies for like $3 and they literally put their, their earnings in their Twitter bios and they're in my replies like challenging me to play a game that I literally don't have installed. And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not even saying anything to these people. I'm just putting out like opinions on other games and here they are in my replies. And I always find it funny because these people are always controller players. I understand Call of Duty is a controller dominated game, but if you're a controller player, you're playing the game with aim assist. You can't have an ego. You just can't. You're not playing the game unassisted. You have to have a robotic aim system implemented in the game in order for you to perform at a high level. So when you really take a step back here, you just have to wonder what is going on with Call of Duty. The games are the same every single year. They never address the core issues. The community is delusional beyond repair. There is a massive cheating problem. They continue to shamelessly recycle maps like Nuketown and Rust just to be deliberately low effort. And the menus don't even look like Call of Duty menus anymore. You go in there and it's like you're playing a store with an attached game. It is literally like just playing microtransactions the game. And yet, it's super popular. I will just never understand it. I, I really, really don't get it. So what's going to happen now is, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now you can probably expect for me to post a Black Ops 6 first impressions video and... Come back to this video and see if I'm right. See if I'm right. I'd be willing to bet that my objective, honest first impressions of Black Ops 6 is, yeah, this is like a pretty cool, decent, you know, experience if they nerfed aim assist and removed skill ace matchmaking, which of course ruined my experience in the beta. I would be very surprised if my first impressions video is going to be any different than that. And uh, it, I really always like reading the comments on these videos because obviously this is a Battlefield focused channel. So you guys, you know, most of you guys hate Call of Duty anyway, but there are a lot of Call of Duty viewers on this channel as well. And you guys think that I remind you of uh, Blame Truth, who I've never, I've never watched this content, but <laughs> apparently you guys call me the Blame Truth of Battlefield. So maybe I should go check out his videos. Other than that, that's going to wrap this video up. I just wanted to get my thoughts about Call of Duty out there uh, before I play Black Ops 6 because I just I just really don't understand the franchise at this point. It's just the same repetitive stupidity, and I don't understand why it's so popular. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out my Metafy group, which is, again, sort of like a Patreon you have the option to join for free, or if you really enjoy my content, there is a option for paid tiers. The lowest tier costs less than a Twitch sub, and you get way more in return. And obviously, the highest tier get you even more than that. So check that out. First link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I guess I'll unfortunately be experiencing the new Call of Duty soon. I'll see you guys later.